Hi guys, good morning. Well, police are calling this an extremely close call. They say it was only a matter of time before a potential uh, terrorist attack or terrorist threat could have happened against New York's Jewish community. Early Saturday morning, MTA police officers tipped off by the NYPD and FBI noticed two men wanted in connection with threats to the Jewish community at Penn Station. They stepped in, and this man, 21-year-old Christopher Brown of Long Island, was taken into custody. Law enforcement had started trailing him after they say he posted violent threats against Jewish synagogues. When arrested, police say Brown had on him a large hunting knife along with a Nazi armband. His partner, 22-year-old Matthew Marer, was also taken into custody. Police found an illegal Glock handgun with a 30-round magazine in an Upper West Side apartment. One of them had a Nazi armband and also there was a uh, gun and uh, 30 bullets, so it was a real threat. New York City Councilman Ari Kagan says a developing threat against the Jewish community may have been imminent. They prevented the possible terrorist attack. The suspects are now facing weapons charges. Brown is also facing charges of aggravated harassment and making a terroristic threat. New York City leaders are now concerned about a rise in hate crimes and speech against the Jewish community. I never imagined that in the year 2022, we will see such an increase of anti-Semitic incidents and crimes. Governor Kathy Hochul has also spoken out. She said in a tweet, quote, Earlier this year, I increased New York State Police's commitment to tracking domestic violent extremism on social media. Today, their vigilance and heroic work by MTA police officers helped stop a threat to our Jewish communities. Grateful to law enforcement for keeping New Yorkers safe. So a joint investigation by several levels of law enforcement is now ongoing. Meantime, police officers are also stationed outside certain uh, local synagogues, and police say that's being done as, out of an abundance of caution. For now, though, we are live outside Penn Station. I'll send it back to you guys. Yeah, police.